When did you get the phone call from Ryan Garcia? Because Ryan Garcia is now, how did that come about? So what happened was Ryan, one night I get a text, and uh, one day I get a text, and, I'm, and I, I don't know what happened. I went home, and I looked at my iPad, and I'm like, what? And I just kind of saw something, and I just kind of didn't look at it. And then my wife was getting her eyebrows arched. I mean, and, I, and I drove her to the place for some reason. So she's like, I said, I think Ryan Garcia texted me. She's like, what? She said, you should hit him back. I was like, I get around to him. I got some stuff to do. And so later that afternoon, you know, we text back and forth and um, made it happen. Mm. Talk to me about Ryan Garcia. <clears throat> what, what was the main thing that he wanted? And the reason why he chose you, and when you looked at him, because obviously you've seen the tank fight and you've seen him fight before, what was the thing Derek James says, this is what I need out of you uh, going forward to be a part of my stable? Well, I hadn't only seen him fight, but like maybe once or twice. Just like with Joshua, I only seen him like fight once or twice. But I just, I mean, we really, it's all about a relationship and building relationships, right? Because I think that the more, the better relationship you have with these guys, the more they understand you as an individual. And they know that you're really with them. And so with Ryan, I just think it's more about the relationship. I mean, uh, we go to dinner together. We kind of hang out. He's always hugging. I mean, like, it's like, you know. And I think that you have to be what they need you to be, right, to get the best out of them or the most out of them. So I think that he learns. He's understanding. He's very intelligent. He's very truth-telling. And so that's the thing about him, Joshua. Arrow, man. I mean, they're all Frank. I mean, that's what they do. They they really kind of want to be who you want them to be. Yeah. Were, were you? Um, what did he say about the night he loses the tank and no one showed up there uh, at the post uh, fight well, press conference? We, we never talked about. Never that. talked about. Because I, I, I always say, man, that's in the past. Because mm. you know, I don't really want to. I'm not the guy to talk about your people. Yeah. You know what I mean, in the world, the world saw it, so there's nothing yeah. I can say about it. I mean, I just say. That's in the past. I'm not talking about that. One. And he never, he never. I just let him know there's not a space you can talk to me about it because I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to be. I mean, that's in the past. You don't talk about that. How difficult is it to when you have Errol Spence Jr., right. Anthony Joshua, right. Ryan Garcia, Jamel Charlo, mm -hmm. and now for, that's five. You know, really. I mean, you got elite guys, right, right. different person. How right. is it hard to manage them, their personalities, because they're also very different. I mean, you right. got to be therapists. You got to be a lot right. of stuff. Right, right. You have to be a lot of. It's very exhausting. But what happens is that I, I have my time in my office. I go in my office. I sit down. I may watch a video of a fight, watch whatever to kind of escape, and then go back out. So it's like I have to be able to reset, go back out, reset, and go back out. So it's like, um, it's cool. It's 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 an amazing idea, right? But it's a job. Yeah. I mean, it's like yeah, it's, it sounds cool, but it's 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 a job. It's a real job. 